So, a wonderful good day, everybody. It's going to be my first game on Prestige 1 difficulty, and I have something special in front of me. It's my first Bandit Camp, too, and therefore we're going to be unable to trade the entire game, so... Going to be a very interesting challenge, therefore. I may or may not been playing nothing else in my free time between this and the last stream, so we're at 14 victories here. <coughs> Pretty decent win ratio on ball. So I'm 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 here to to suffer my first victory my first real loss or or just stay victorious. We'll see. Alright, so the real challenge here is that I'll be totally unable to buy anything from the traders. That's going to be very important to to keep that in my mind. So, is there any good reason not to take this caravan? It has extra people. And it has extra coats. But if I remember correctly, neither the harpies nor the lizards uh, value coats. So you basically start with coats that you don't need. But on the other hand, there's always going to be either beavers or humans in the long run of the colony, so somebody will wear these things. And this party here, it just looks worse. Where's the benefit? Ah, there we go. Way more parts. Way more parts and, and biscuits. All right. Complex food to begin with. It's also powerful. But it's all harpies versus lizards. I want to start out with the lizards. They give nice bonuses right from the get-go. So, let's crank up the difficulty. So the main dif difference between Prestige 1 and Viceroy is really only in the amount of uh, victory points we got, uh, we got together. So it's 18 instead of 14. Pretty scary. Four points more is way more than it sounds. So, what's on the map? Um, able to gather copper ore here. We have the giant organisms thing, so forbidden glades are especially tasty here. And gathering speed is increased by 10% for every two workers assigned to gathering camps. So, the more we gather, the faster we gather. Pretty decent. Okay. Suits a very expansionistic playstyle. We got copper. And uh, this place, if I remember correctly, the marshlands had these uh, eatable trees, so food's uh, rarely a big issue. So let's draft accordingly. Okay, we're picking up the lizards. I don't have much wood to begin with. Do I want to pick up wood? So, clay is present. What we don't see here are plant fibers. So, that's something to take care about. So, we're going to pick up reed. That's the next best thing. We can use that to make a fabric to begin with. It's pretty important. It screws over quite hard. And I'll pick up uh, extra wood. Extra wood is something you will never regret. Except for one or two cornerstones, but all right. So lizards and harpies, and we get extra two uh, newcomers. So we start with more people here. I see this as the way more appealing start. Although seven parts more is pretty, it's pretty powerful. Anyways, let's see how we'll fare with that. So, prestigious expedition. Only the best viceroys can embark on prestigious expedition. Alright, that's just the difficulty modifier. But thanks for, uh, for, for giving me such respects, Queen. So, what's the, what's the good thing about this map? After each storm comes a time of peace and regrowth. Gain 0.5 reputation points for every, every dangerous or forbidden glade event solved during drizzle. Sheesh, that's powerful. Also requires some timing, though. It has to be finished during prison. 
sometimes your people are just that slow. Anyway, so, downsides, muddy ground. We're slowed by 30% in storm, great. Leakage, hearths, resistance is decreased. <coughs> I think that's uh, referring to corruption. That's pretty dangerous. Oh yeah, acid rain. Um, recipes producing building materials yield 50% fewer goods. Annoying, very annoying. Devastating storm. Minus 20 to global resolve. Wow. It's brutal. It's among the most brutal ones that I've seen so far. So, that's minus 24 effectively. So, because you get four hostility for each or for three minus. Oh, okay. So, we. Better plan in our city that uh, not everybody will make it. It's a tough life out here. I think survival of everybody will be really, really hard to solve on this map. Especially since we got so effing many uh, late game problems. Alright. So. Oh, thanks. Resource I can't gather. It's a hostile game. Only because I put up prestige. No, that's just lucky. So we have one safe glade down here. And one safe glade very, very up close. At least something good. So let's start with some woodcutters. And the shelters. Because shelters make people happy. Actually, no, not the shelters. The decorations are the cheapest way of increasing your resolve right from the get-go. It's only four wood. Oh, it go only works together with the houses. Never mind. But my standard procedure is to is to go for a couple of houses for everybody. That's the very first thing I build. It's just that valuable. Because every point of resolve matters. Forest already hates me. Don't know why. This forest is actually able to hate anybody. I think that's the real problem. Alright, we're going to go... Two ways here. This is also very, very good to cleave that open. Here we have some interesting spots. Here we have an interesting spot. Here we have... A huge glade. This one's really, really majestic. So. Here we have pretty good expansion uh, area. Can't go all the way over there. And we have this. Yeah, we're surrounded by problems. Wonderful. So, first cornerstone. And uh, gain one ancient tablet for every two glade events solved. Entirely useless because tablets are most valuable for their trade purposes. Trade is a no-no here. I think that's easy. Wood cutting 40% quicker. That's the first cornerstone. Why shouldn't I take that? By the way, I'm, I didn't forget to uh, draft my first building, so I'm actually not drafting them until I have my first orders. Right now, there's enough work for everybody, so I need to worry about it. People not being busy or anything, so I can't take that time. There's no reason to uh, to rush these things. For sake, Walter, what the hell is that? Why do I have a forsaken altar all of a sudden in my uh, building list? Where does it come from? I have no clue. So in the midst of the raging storm, you can make sacrifices here to gain unimaginable powers. Now that sounds not fishy at all. <laughs> <sighs> Good stuff. Always good to re rely on some sort of desperate sounding black magic y things in the midst of danger. What could possibly go wrong? Now then, gain 15 copper ore. That's amazing. And versus solve any two glade events. Well, this is a bit way more appealing to me in the long run. Copper bar production, we have native copper on the map. Chest of coal, always nice. Box of simple tools, I'm sold. Alright, 
here we have the same thing that I didn't take a movement before versus big delivery. So here it's clearly big delivery, although, well, I'm a little bit uh, thinning myself out on villagers right now. There's no villagers in this reward, no villagers in this reward. So oh, I have to finish my previous pick. Yeah, okay. Would have been too easy. The, the, these devs have put so much attention into making the game not exploitable anywhere. Like, you have to make your decision now. Because I clicked that first back now. Cannot look into the second pack. I love this. So, since there are no perks buyable for me in this room, like uh, the long term gain of reinforced planks, isn't that epic as it seems? I think this is better for me, right? Because one plank, if it would be something more vital than planks, but planks are. In the later stages of my colony is always something where I'm okay with current production. Okay, funding the expedition, no thank you. Clearing glades. Now, here we get the stuff we're talking about. Hearts and newcomers. Perfect. I I was lucky this day. <laughs> I was really, really mm -hmm. lucky with that. So we have got a lot of uh, things here to do. Cool. So where the hell will I get my copper ore from? That's the first big question. So it's nowhere to be found. All right, great. So we have to open up glades. Let's draft a bit. So one of the really, really, really important things for this uh, colony is going to be the ability to produce everything I need by myself. Why are there red dots for Saken Altar activation? So I think there's a new mechanic with Prestige now. So here I get three Forsaken Altar activations. Red, red dots. Usually red is nothing good, but I think in this scenario, well, we'll find out. So, scores. Both my species in the city lost scores. The grill is awesome in this regard. Not only is it the best score making place, it's also a hot place and it makes copper bars. So I'm sold about that. So for foragers camp, um, I need a trapper's camp. I don't need the foragers camp right now. But the, the nasty part about that is I might need the foragers camp next. So we're going to open up uh, plates here, I'd say. This is now the perfect moment to start uh, start smacking up the glades. So here we go for that one. And now it's uh, narrow back down to single pathway. But I'm um, focusing my my efforts now. <laughs> I want this to be. Uh, I want this to get done first, and uh, then we focus the other workers. Okay, I have four idle hands in the colony. Oh, well, let's see. We got the makeshift posts. So, definitely gonna build the stone cutter now, because reasons. Gotta get productive. I mean, the good thing about this map is food is literally coming off of the trees. We have a 15% chance of wood, uh, of mushrooms whenever we chop a tree. And we even have leather chances. I mean, 5% ain't much. That's one leather per 20 trees on average. It ain't really, really ain't much. But uh, here we have one, one mushroom every six trees. That's way better. It's a really nice passive food generation. like this about this um, biome a lot. So, the stone cutters are ready. And I already know that I want a grill. So, let's man the root workstation. Oh, let's see. No workers left at the end of the day. Mm. So, I'm going to limit myself exactly <laughs> to the uh, amounts that I require. So, fabric will be turned off for now. And uh, that's why we needed the stone cutter, because otherwise no bricks. <laughs> I do a very, very limited production on the crude workstation because it's so darn inefficient. 
it's wasting material left and right. So, Worm Tongue. And uh, there's the Forager's Camp. <coughs> there we go. So, let's check on out what we got. Carpenter. So, that would be. I think I'll take that without any second hesitation. <coughs> I'll say yeah, yeah, definitely. Ich habe übrigens ziemlich heftig gerade. Ja. Ich weiß du ganz nichts für aber. Well. We all got a nice big something out of the kindergarten, as you hear here in the background. Hope you guys don't mind. So, free copper bars. Hey, Anastamir, Cardi, welcome. You guys snuck up on me. Keep watching the chat neurotically and uh, all of a sudden you don't look at it. Well, keep it. Ah, chat size is trolling me. Give me a second. There we go. So. I don't have enough population to uh, upgrade that thing further. Great. For now. So. Carpenter would require a bit of fabric, so let's enable that too. Let's think about what we're going to do here. <coughs> I think this will be also... Hmm. I think I'll start with the grill, simply because it'll make the lizards happy. It'll produce complex food that gains that gives me even more result, and uh, you know, planks aren't that much of a big importance right now. We're gonna need lots of planks when we go for proper housing and the like. Then we're going to need a lot of planks, but uh, until then, it's actually quite uh, unnecessary. So. Good. Let's turn that up. This glade is a little bit harder to reach, and uh, gotta wait until we get closer. There's not much that I can do right now. much that I can do right now. I would love to uh, open up another um, a camp here. Oh well, we can't actually build it. So my worker is at least busy with something. Speaking about being busy with something reminds me that I ain't got any paths in this place right yet, but uh, well. The woodcutter camps are Totally littering this place, and uh, at the beginning it is pretty hard to find a proper layout for the pathing, but I cannot really foresee that I s there's always one path, and that's the path in front of your warehouse. That's it's never a wrong decision. Okay. Let's move the woodcutter camps down here, and then um, can finally put some pathing over here. Okay. Okay. So 
so let's hope we're going to be able to open up that blade before the storm comes. Not too sure about that, though. <laughs> All right, we got the grill. Large enough for all the lizards to hide in during the storm. And the glade got opened. So, copper vein. Awesome. So, we're pretty set for a nice start here. <coughs> Yeah, resolve low, I guess so. Let's see how many woodcutters we have to unemploy for a resolve on that. Most of them, sadly. So we got... Wait a sec. Mm. Nah, I cannot because I am unable to make the harpies happier. Well, we got five workers that we can work with during this uh, storm season, so... Let's put up another camp up here. You know, there's always something you can do in the different seasons. There we go. Some pathing to make a whole thing efficient keep those idle hands busy. So, Queen's impatience is already racking up. Making me kind of nervous, but uh, we're gonna get there. Hopefully. I don't know how far I'll get this time for real. So, the next important thing will be a mine. So... Let's see, the crew workstation has a limit up to two bricks. We'll need four bricks for the mine, don't we? Yep. So, here we go. It's very important to have that. Then we got the ability to make copper bars. Got the ability to make copper. So, things are coming together then. The uh, production cycles we require. So, every two newly solved dangerous and forbidden events lower hostility. That's pretty cool. Smuggler's visit. Well, I have no real... Oh, well. Could take a uh, blueprint there. But 50 hostility is quite a lot, and I'm surrounded by lots of danger blades. So, we're, we're, I'm, I, I'm taking this for the longevity of this run. I think. Although... This would give me instant access to something that I really need right now. And something that I don't need to draft later. Which is also amazing, but... Uh, no. I'll take that one. We'll play for the long run here. And, uh, as you see here, there's two danger glades. That's 50 hostility. And 50 hostility is an, is half a hostility... Uh, half of an entire hostility level. So that's pretty much a lot. And, uh, here... If I'd be opening up the areas around me, here those four alone would be an entire hostility level that I gained out of that one cornerstone. I think that pays off. Hey, hooray, beavers! So what are we missing out on here? Nothing special. Beaver, man. Beavers are in town, dude. That's good. I love to have a, uh, a population of beavers simply because they are really, really cool for anything regarding wood industry. If you have some wood stuff to be, uh, to, uh, to get done, put beavers in it. So, I have only five woodcutters available right now. Yeah, we need more people. That's one thing that uh, really shows. So how's the corruption here? Oh, well. Nothing to worry about yet. I think it'll be about time to think about a blight post sooner or later too. Sadly. So let's give those woodcutters something to chop at. 
so they don't accidentally open up blades. They suck when they do that. So we're going to go on avoid opening blade mode for now. This place here could totally keel over if I'd accidentally open something that I don't want to open. Well, I could unassign the foragers. Well, yeah, let's unassign one forager in favor of another woodcutter. And let's move that woodcutter up here, because that's also darn important there. <laughs> yeah, Gardy, see you soon, man. The video on demand is for you there after the stream, after all. Have a good day. Also, if you missed that stream, since it's a good time to point that out in the description box below, there is a link to the uh, playlist, there's a link to Twitter and Discord where I announce all the stuff, or you can just subscribe and do the bell thing and uh, YouTube does the reminding for you. So, what's well, time for new orders? Well, there's cloak production upgrades for mushrooms. Well, mushrooms are quite available here, but... Uh, I think I'll prefer the uh, other one, because I actually have fertile soil here, which is a rarity in this biome. So I'll I'm I'm sold for for the for this quest because this way we'll well okay that's more people I have a shortage of people but the cloak production is so darn useless there no no I'll pick I'll pick that so happy beavers happy lizards so two additional lizards will come with each group of newcomers versus tools woodcutting speed i'll take woodcutting update upgrades woodcutting is so darn important in the later later stages of the game i don't want to uh, weaken myself there on that it's just too important okay so i'm i'm spent it's uh, sad but it is as it is there's the mine. I mean, I always uh, think, like, I could also unemploy the woodcutters and all, but, uh, what is life? Woodcutters are the one thing that I find it very hard to cut back on. Alright, cool. We got the mine. We got the grill. So, it's now a good point to consider setting up the carpenter too, because now it has, uh, it has a good reason to do so. Alright. And the blight post is sadly now a, a unfortunate necessity. So, let's see, how's the situation here? Brick production is no issue at all. We can make more fabric here out of the reed. <coughs> and the stone cutters ran dry. Okay, well, we don't have any replacement jobs for them. That means, for the time being, brick is a limited good. But it is as it is. So, this also opens up another assignment to the foragers camp down here. And uh, I got two workers into the mines, or at least one of them. I'd love to put somebody in the grill now, or on on work duty in the grill. I, I think that might come off a little bit wrong, but uh, yeah. Well, I think I just need to be patient for now. So, fire material is one thing that I need to worry about in the future of this run. Because it already shows to me that, you know, I don't have any natural resources of coal and the like. I don't know, is there sea marrow on this map? Probably, if I get lucky. But for the time being, I got to consider there is none. So, 
And also, I need to do something about the impatience. So next year, we'll... We'll hopefully get a little bit ahead. I mean, I am starting to produce more and more copper ore here, so that's at least one step forward. But I'd say, until the resources for these places are produced, I'll put both of the Liz's, Lizzie's into the mines. I mean, we're going to be um, producing more ore during the storm as well, because there's one good thing. The mine is a place for the beavers to chill at during the storm. Alright. Okay. Good enough to go for our full speed right now. It's almost storm, so... Let's see how our situation will, will be there. I mean... Yeah, Resolve is uh, super bad. Doesn't come as a big surprise. So, unemploying all the woodcutters cuts it back to a neutral hostility level. Nice. Awesome. So, I'm going to put the, uh, the, be the beavers into the mines. So, we got a really nice bolster of resolve there. Make camps look for. You mean, uh, storages? Yes, yes, absolutely. I think you mean with camps, the storages. But right now, it's too early to go for that, because I don't have the necessary materials to, uh, to cater that. Storages are quite hungry. They, uh, require parts, bricks, fabric. But, uh, in the long run, I do have, uh, four to five storages over the map. Because you're right about that, the uh, the traveling times between that those are are really really brutal. So, I will. I I think I'll leave those uh, guys for now, like they are. Or wait a sec. I don't. I'm going to disable the copper bars for now. Oh, we can make mushroom skewers. Awesome. So let's make mush skewers, man. Great. So... Never put anybody else onto grill, on the grill duty except for lizards. Nobody does the job as good as them. Right on. So, first things first. We can do... We can make a tools now, so that's really, really massive. Let's put the planks on a limit of 10. That's also a new age uh, for us, but I want to have a uh, a focus on, on tools for now. We're going to use wood. Right. So later I'll have more planks, but for now I don't. We're also going to disable the plant production here, because we're not going to need that anymore. Put these back into the storage. Alright. And I got a blight post, so... Do I have a lizard chilling out somewhere where it shouldn't be? Yep, I do. So... Here's the deal. Lizards are happier when they do the blight post job, and harpies do the job better than lizards, so... Can decide for yourself. You don't need to put that. In. All right, nice. So I got the uh, all the abilities that I need now to produce the tools to get glades opened. The impatience is already pretty high, but uh, we're we're gonna get there. Gain insects every time woodcutters cut two trees. That's amazing. I'll do that. That's. I love these, these uh, cornerstones. They are among my favorites. They help so much with the uh, food production near colony. So this is pretty crappy, you would think, in the first uh, place. 
except for it isn't because it uh, opens up rerolls on this map and ember is a little bit harder to get here on the other hand this is uh, extra population i'll take the extra population right now i really do need more people there. It's a constant shortage of uh, of productions left and right so all right out of the mines dudes into the woodcutter camps chop chop so but there is it's not a good idea to, right now to uh let's see oh, yeah, let's build some i don't have harpy houses damn or er, well let's build a beaver house then they require quite a lot of uh planks but uh well i just think i can't move that next ship first they require quite a lot of planks but I am running a carpentry now, so I think we should be good with that. So I'm not uh, making uh, copper bars right now because I want to fulfill that first order ASAP. So the scabbies are out of work. Well, that came as no big surprise. I think I need to open another glade this season. That's. Uh, Let's do this. Oh, whoopsie. Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to uh, disassemble that woodcutter camp. A little prompt in front of that would have been appreciated, but whatever. It's not as if that would be uh, backbreaking or anything. So, the foragers went, ran out of work too. Okay. Let's put these together again. So down here, for example, will be a pretty good spot for storage because we got extra glades left and right, but uh, for now it is as it is. So I think I have already taken all the resources from these places, if I did. Oh boy. So yeah, we totally need the... Uh, we totally need that. Extra clade stuff, I mean. So, tell you what, we're, we're going to put some uh, some extra lizards on the grill and uh, some extra people onto the carpentry. But most importantly, some extra people on the mines. The other option would have been to construct a third woodcutter camp. I considered that as well. But, uh, well. I feel like opening glades might be a wiser choice right now. Alright, I got my first order almost done. That's uh, pretty good. So let's do a forced delivery for once. Oh, I'm out of houses. Did I forget to build housing? Ah, oh, no, I, uh... I simply went for the quality housing now. So, we got root deposits and mushrooms. That's pretty good, except for the fact we don't have a herbalist scam here. That sucks. But, uh, well... Let's go for that gladiator too. So, metal veins. Ah, yeah. That was all the reason to wait for um, the production of copper bars. Right on. Good, so... New orders have arrived. Cosmetics and a bathhouse. Wood resolve... Oh, wood, 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 be, uh, oh boy. Hoppy resolve plus for every 70 cosmetics produced. Yes, please. That's a win condition, basically. Yeah, 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 we take that. I mean, that, that that gives me a direction that I need to draft towards too, but uh, I have all my drafts in front of me, so to say. 
that'll be outright amazing. So, forum, ale and scrolls, and we'd get upgrades for that, versus tavern and ale, alright. So... Well, let's see. So, le leisure and education, that's that's human, isn't it? Leisure and education. Education is something for beavers and for the harpies, but nobody here does value um, leisure. So, that would be really a bad choice there to go for something that right, brings leisure and education. On the other hand, though, um, it's uh, here the same in both directions, so... Ugh, yuck. It's a pretty shitty order. Because I have to pick one uh, building that won't be... That's only 50% effective to me, but whatever. The rewards are pretty good. Okay, so... Herbalist scan. Hello. Versus a small farm. Versus plantation, damn it. Your skin. But uh, I need that herbalist skin. But <laughs> I don't want to be without the ability to collect these things. Way too important for me in the long run. Every resource that's lying around that I cannot collect, it's the find that unbearable. Alrighty. So, scavengers camp, except for the fact we don't have any, we don't have any re, uh, resource, uh, any people to do the scavenging for us. Anyways, let's put up another quality housing project. Because that's one of the cheapest ways of gaining resolve. It just is invest some complex building mats for happiness of your folks. And you get the direct rewards for that. Ah, that you're talking about. Thanks, I'm doing mistakes in that regard. That's true. Didn't pay attention to that. Thanks for pointing that out. Appreciate that, anus. Okay, so here we have people that aren't doing anything. That's bad. Here we have people that could do something, but they don't. Alright. So, light fighters, well, I consider that a necessary evil to have one person not busy there, but I'd rather position them here. Because it'll take a... Uh, yeah, well, I think I can unman the entire carpenter and uh, put this rather on the scavenger's camp. I think I'll have more out of that for now. I'm valuing the uh, gathering camps right now so much, mostly because my my whole plan is to uh, to make my own tools and uh, grind reputation points this way, with an addition of resolve points if possible, but uh, we'll see about that. Alright, so we have more mushrooms and more roots. Perfect. We can live off of that. It's storm time almost. We got tons of wood. I think that'll work out quite nicely for now. So, goodbye woodcutting. It's been a nice time. Let's see how bad it will be now. Although the numbers look pretty decent. Oh yeah. Oh boy. First storm we got where I'm actually able to do my stuff without, um, without juggling people to hard around. 
like. So I got seven workers for this uh, storm season now. And can you please now build that house? Jeez. Yeah, it's the problem with quality housing. It's a blessing and a curse at the same time. So, let's complete the next level of decorations while we're at it. Because that's a pretty big bonus too. So, what's in the cache? Um, some shrooms and some copper bars. So, <laughs> it's a little bit nasty though. It's basically... I would gain only uh, 30 mushrooms if I take that, because 10 copper bars give me exactly 10 simple tools. So we're going to choose this reward here. And uh, for that one, wine and insects. Now that's more interesting, but uh, I'd say insects I'll get passively now from tree cutting. And wine, well, wine is... An interesting thing. You can make some uh, cool things with it, but uh, altogether, I don't think I want to right now. Okay, cool. So the herbalist and the scavengers camp are online. Let's check on out how far we are from Earth construction. So, as you see there, once we have this area here freed up, we are already able to build our first extra hearth. Wonderful. It's really good. That's extra resolve. So, still five idle hands. I don't like that, but the storm's almost over at the same time. So, isn't there any lizard that I could put in there? Oh, well, we're going to make it like that. The harpy goes to the blight post and uh, the lizard goes into the grill or works at the grill yeah that's the better wording and uh i'll put up one of the beavers as a carpenter there so we only have three idle hands now well actually i'm at the spot where i feel like more plants are totally okay right on so let's see I'd say I'll put copper bars now on a higher priority, because we never have too much copper that this will be any problem. So, Blight Rot Sift slower hostility. Even more hostility reduction from uh, solved Danger Glade uh, thingies. Hmm. <laughs> you can see the content of undiscovered glades, but discovering dangerous or forbidden glades kills one villager. It's actually pretty... Pretty amazing. Like, uh, it's a rather low price for the power it gives, but uh, I'd rather take that one. Okay, well, I'll take the beaver package, thanks for asking. So... Sadly, gotta pull the beavers out of the carpentry there. They are required as woodcutters. Although the industry is at this point uh, far enough ahead that I could that I could consider getting myself some of these guys into the carpentry, so I get a chance for the double rewards there. The mine is out of war. Oh shoot. So. How about the upgrades? They are damn costly for pretty low rewards. So. Do I have another copper deposit anywhere? I didn't think so. So. I'm now either officially bankrupt when it comes down to uh, the metal, or I'll invest some of my tools for more copper ore on this mine. 
pretty rough decision, but uh, either way, I don't have the resources to do so, so let's uh, chill out for a second with that. But that also means the total amount of tools we're going to be able to produce here is uh, rather limited. Okay, we are processing, though, all the stuff we got. Okay, so... Let's see. It's really, really problematic right now that uh, at this very moment the mine ran dry and I had no further copper deficits available. So here I'm a little, I'm a little bit in a pickle. So I could now smash open one of those uh, danger plates, but I actually won't because I feel like that uh, will. That has a chance of screwing me over in a way that I will be unable to recover from, you know? Because there are events that, if they stay unresolved, they outright kill you. And I'm not over-exaggerating. Some of them can make your colony totally un unhospitable in the long run. And I'm too afraid that this might be happening there. So the options I got are quite simple. I got I either now go for well, let's put up a new shelter here. I now either go for um, exploring another one of these small glades here. We have a huge cluster of them, and uh, hope and gamble for the copper. I probably should have taken the uh, node that killed some um, one dude in exchange for knowing what's inside the box. Hey, Bastion, welcome. Happy to see you, man. All right. Oh, I still got five idle hands I dislike. That's the case. We might as well build another woodcutter's camp. And just chop up uh, free terrain faster. There we go. So, how's the situation now? We ain't got enough materials. There we got 12 tools available, so I'd say we're going to use those tools to make more tools, because that's, in my opinion, the wisest thing to do right now. So let's create ourselves more bricks. Yeah, so the no trade challenge is really, really nasty. I'm uh, racking up uh, impatience like crazy because I'm pretty unable to fulfill any of the tasks that are ahead of me. Let's see, maybe I'll get something fulfillable now. A harmony, uh, 20 decorations of harmony, oh boy, versus 20 packs of building materials, so definitely will do that. But 20 packs of building materials, that's uh, that's pretty oof, you know? I don't have the necessary processing building yet. Make sure closed. Well, that's nothing where you want to build 20 packs of building materials at, my dear. I could make it with a makeshift post like my like like my wife here says, but uh oof. Yeah. Problem with the uh, with these uh, packs of building goods is that they require processed goods or copper work, and uh, both of them are darn costly or hard to acquire. However, you want to put it. So we need more carpenters. That's where I can put my idle hands at work, and we're going to build up a new hearth up here, together with a storage. So we have another hub up here in the making. 
Hooray! The forest is hostile. Hey, Lurker. Welcome. Happy to see you, man. Why are you here? I think you guys can watch me utterly fail live in action here. <coughs> the... <coughs> well, sadly, my harpies are not uh, playing nice when I uh, when I stay woodcutting. Anyways, so the scavies ain't got work right now. But no problem. So I'll do the uh, unspeakable. Oh no. Put up more workers in there. So I have five idle hands. Let's see. Sadly, the mine upgrade is not going ahead quite nicely. Well, I need my first. Uh, I need my first danger blade. That's for sure. But at the same time, it's really darn hard to put that up. So building materials. Well, it's ten planks per two building materials. So it's way too costly. I got fourteen tools. So. Many Danger Glade events are cheaper than that. So, we're doing this now. And actually at the very end of the storm season. This is bad for the resolve, but uh, the storm season won't last long enough for that to be a problem. So... Is this the one that I want to punch open, though? Or is another one more appealing? No, this one is great. Possibly. Okay, surprise child. Gain one lizard for every 25 eggs produced. Alright. All fuel recipes are 25% faster. I'll take the surprise lizards, thanks. So, what do we have here? Three bricks versus... Hmm. Ah, whatever. Thing is, I want that beaver population quite badly, but at the same time, I don't want it uh, that badly, you know? So, let's put up more shelters. Ooh, whoopsie, that was the wrong direction. That'll work out. And uh, here. So. Let's put one camp of woodcutters right next to that. Because we we will die if I don't uh, ingest some, uh, some resources soon. What do we have here? A small destroyed caravan. Oh boy, I'm lucky. This only gives a uh, global resolve uh, decrease while it's being worked at, but uh, it's pretty harmless at the same time. So, they got a grill for me that I can safely dismantle, but I don't want to. And uh, we got a fat deficit here. Oh god. I'm so happy that I didn't upgrade the mine there. That would have been a... Uh, crappy um, trade-off there, because here I already saw that this mine even has coal. Oh, yeah. This uh, resolves a lot of my problems there. We have another stone deficit, so I also have resolved the issue of the uh, brick shortage, so good stuff, really good stuff. And we got also fat worm tongue nests that or foragers can work at. So. Big win. That whole situation is a big win. Alright, here I ain't got enough uh, people living next to that. That's a shame. Let's change that. So you folks here, you, you move on over here. Cool. 
to know we got enough people there. So, I'm unable to finish that during Drizzle. That's a shame. This would be really awesome if so. And the other thing is I can now resolve another Glade event. So, let's see. With that one, I wanted to sacrifice those to the Queen. These here are 19. I cannot afford that. Oh, tell you what, we're going to dismantle that thing as a Glade event. Hell yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Boom. Wonderful. Just give me scores. We like scores. Alright, so big relief. Big relief. That was a uh that was as smooth as a risk um could be, you know. So, we got the woodcutters down here. I'm not really a big fan of letting them work like they want, like they uh, automatically do. So, yeah, let's put up one more of these guys up here. So the carpenters are idling around. So let's uh, free them up for working. Probably amp up the production of purging fire here a bit too. Because we're only getting more and more productive there. So yeah, the uh, dismantling of the grill did count as a uh, solved clade event. So Whew. great. We at least can grind down one point of impatience. That's a start, my queen. Yeah, and that uh, blade. I'd say that was the last uh, small one that I opened, because the problem is uh, the more small ones I open, the more hostility I rack up. So I don't want to do that uh, too much here anymore. So, we got ourselves a fresh new mine. Cool and copper were brilliant. So good, man. And here we get enough tools together to actually open up the next danger plate and uh, have fun with it. Alright, and I even get more people into my city with that. Awesome. Things are starting to get better. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I love it how this uh, bonus here is made to screw me over. Technically. Because I need to resolve a Glade event during the Drizzle. So, it's technically only possible if you open the Danger Glade during Storm, and, you know, woodcutting during Storm, it's a pretty shitty endeavor altogether. So, where do I put my idle hands to work, boys? Hey, Elazel, welcome. Happy to see you, man. So... Let's punch open that thing next. I'll try an experiment this time. So, four people not doing anything here. So... No, the carpenters are idling, how so? Well, because we ain't got any copper to process, I see. I'm really almost willing to put up a rain collector and make some crystallized dew, but I really try to avoid that wherever I can because I find that a very ineffective way of, uh, of improving your 
your power there. Alright, this hearth can be upgraded soon too. Let's see, here we don't have room for another hearth. So... But, you know, you gotta have fuel for three hearths too. Doesn't come for free either. Alright, the mine is going crazy. That's great. Okay, so we got a Harmony Spirit Altar here. Hmm. So, the good news, I can resolve that with planks. This is uh, really, really good. Oh, we got a cookhouse? Hell yeah. So I now need only something to, some place to, uh, to make flour at. Okay, so we, we do start to see uh, a, a victory condition here, finally. So what I want to do now is I want to make those packs of building materials. And uh, we can make them out of these. No problem. I want to resolve the Clearing Glades quest. And this thing, well... We're going to start it during... Uh, during the storm season, so what will I choose reward-wise? I'll take that one. Because that opens up the possibility for way more tools. And uh, pools are, are basically my lifeblood. So, resolves are low. Huh, yeah. Who would have thought? Let's see. Yeah, sadly, this is this ain't enough this time. Just as I had feared. So, packs of luxury good versus ancient tablets. So, I'll take that. Here, I uh, already got three of them. So, that's going to be quite good. So, our, our dudes are massively spooked out here, so... It's gonna be the first storm season where we got to sacrifice a tiny bit of wood there to uh, to keep to keep the ball rolling. So well, let's see, the cookhouse can make scores, but that's not the thing. The biscuits and the pigments are what it's all about. So herbs and berries. Okay, we're going to uh, rebuild that place for sure. And then, let's check on out these caches of things, so... Ah, oh, this one is really uh, too appealing to send it to the Citadel. This one we can safely send to the Citadel, so let's do that. I do need reputation, for Christ's sake, you know. The impatience of the Queen is killing us, so we have to do something about that. Alright, scabbies. Okay. So you guys are hopefully producing uh, no planks, right? Alright, so I don't know where the excess planks went. Bothering me a tiny bit, but uh... Only a tiny bit. So we're we're going to cancel that quest for now. Because I don't want a So let's do this like that. So I think I messed up the extra reward again. But that's the worst that happened. All right, the herbalist's camp is out of work. That's bad. I have to change something about that. But one thing at a time. So. We've got to beaver up our outposts again. Let's 
So woodcutters have mine as resolve, but we gain simple tools whenever we discover glades. Well, I don't have too much. I, I don't have enough glade openings anymore, so. So. Let's take without restrictions. Find that pretty appealing. Can you guys now please produce the planks? Or if this thing blows up on me at least. Oh. Even running low on fuel now. <laughs> oh boy. That came... Uh... Oh, now I know how it came together. Of course, of course. They are to blame. But we, we actually made the... Uh... This event here, so okay. So, progress, at least progress, okay. So let's take the package with fuel, please, because we are actually quite scarily low on fuel right now. Then some housing here, haha. -ha. Wanted to say, but uh. All right. Let's kick up, uh, kick up our wood production here again, so everything will be fine. Yeah, it's a lot harder without grade. That's for real. But that uh, should be okay in a sec. And they're finally working on that uh, darned spirit altar. And, uh, oh yeah, here we finished that thing. So I can finally draft something new. Imagine. So, all right. Right on. I got a cookhouse already. So that ain't important at all. I want to improve on these. So let's reroll, please. Tavern. Not interested. Rain mill. Very interested, though. Or am I? Not really. Well, I'm gaining uh, some uh, amber to reroll things with in a sec, so... We're going to re rely on that for a moment. So, you guys only take planks henceforth for the tools. And there we go. Oh boy, that's a scary season now, because we're uh, so low on wood that the next uh, storm season will be quite, uh, well, exciting. All right, so I can reroll one more time. So here, the apothecary at least produces things that I actually need. So we'll require eggs or oil and pigment or herbs. Okay. So there we go. And uh, here comes the herb garden, just, just in time. Perfect. So, herb garden for this little place here. I'm frankly said relieved. And the apothecary. For other things. So, fabric. Fabric limitations are way too high here. So, sadly, I don't have any humans to work with. We're not going to pick up any roots here. I or well, I'll do. Okay. No, nah, for now only herbs. For now, it's only herbs. Okay. So I think I should be now finally able to uh, rebuild that place too. Are we? Well, okay, 
slowly regaining my footing here. Problem here is, if there's going to be anything uh, really nasty happening during the next storm, I'm so out of resources that uh, I don't see myself capable of uh, withstanding any uh, any bigger um, abuse here. So, that's scaring me a bit about the upcoming uh, rain se uh, storm season, but beyond that, we're doing great, aren't we? So, resolving those smaller things now. I want to claim that. There's just too much goodness in there to uh, give that over to the queen. Might sound feisty, but... Whatever. So... We're not going to make scores here, but I'd like to make this here and uh, pigments. So right now, well, there's no good reason to make pigments, or is there? So I'll need oil or eggs, so we definitely need to stop using eggs here for scores. There we go. Very important. So. Well, there's another woodcutter that we can shut down. All right. So. Okay, so at least we can make it through the storm with one sacrifice, but I'll not sacrifice it right away. That would be uh, wasteful, actually. That would be actually wasteful. Alright, we got food to no end. Alright, now is a good time. I want to wait until these guys are uh, almost leaving, you know. I got such a low amount of wood to work with. And uh, this way, I'll make the most out of my stuff there. Oh, I didn't, uh, I didn't re redistribute my workers this uh, rain season. Oopsie. Oh well, I think I won't uh, make that much of a terrible difference there. Oh boy, we have a big coal deficit over there, too. Nice. Alright. That's cool. Or coal. Okay, then. So, let's move that dude somewhere else. I'm a bit afraid about opening danger glades accidentally. Alright, so we got four workers left doing nothing right now. Okay, let's draft stuff. More axes? I don't think so. But on the other hand, there's nothing really appealing here, so let's take that. Second time. Whoop de doo. Alright, so. Extra tools. I'm always sold for extra tools, you know. So. How many skewers do we have by now? 280. Well, on the other hand, why shouldn't they? You know. Alright, I got a huge amount of uh, housing that I have to put up. So we're going to use big shelters now. The advantage of big shelters is there's a lot more, more room in them. But right now, it's, for me, all about the um, extra... Uh, about the, the planks that they require instead of... Uh, instead of... Wood. Sorry. I was just pondering about in the background whether or not I should open up that danger glade or not. 
or that forbidden light, you know? Actually, a forbidden light. So I certainly don't want to put up another hearth here. So I don't think that's uh, a smart choice. Yeah, we're going to do this, guys. So, forbidden blade, here I come. I mean, it, it won't get uh, much better than that. We got a nice amount of uh, metals available to, uh, to craft ourselves tools. So... No matter how dangerous it'll be in there, it's better to be in action than uh, not to be. And uh, I'm going to set on up another woodcutter here. It's time for woodcutter number four. I don't see much other chance here. Okay. I mean, I don't need to be too worried either. We are, uh, we're in a good spot here. We're on a good spot. I just need to take care that I resupply myself properly with iron and the like. Giant proto fungus. Oh my god. Thousand and two charges. All right. What do I need to do here? There's a dark gate threatening us, so. Minus 10 to global resolve while we're working on that. Hostility of the forest is temporarily increased by 300 points, so... This is also uh, like, a, like an atomic nuke at the same time. So I'll take this uh, reward here too. And then uh, we'll see how the hell we're going to get through this, so... Well... I cannot put up any woodcutting right now with that hostility level, I think, but at the same time, I I need wood to keep my hearths going, so we're uh, in a pretty shitty situation here altogether. Oh boy. Thanks, Dark Gate. You're a real party bummer. So uh, here, I'm not even able to reduce that to a level where it doesn't kill us off, so... If that's the case, I might as well just proceed as before, and accept that people will die now. In, in situations like these, seriously, it... I cannot change it. Whatever I do, I cannot get my resolve back into positive levels, so... Relax and ride it, you know. And, uh... Not producing any stuff right now would be much deadlier than, uh... Keeping my production running. The only thing that would help you right now would be something like sea marrow or, or that, but, uh, well. We got p big populations, though, so... I got no clue how, how hard this will hit me, though, gotta say. I feel like this is going to be terrible, but, uh... Let's see. So. Bam. We lost one herbalist. And we lost one woodcutter. Alright. So. I honestly don't see any other way of doing this rather than sucking up the... Uh, the population loss now. But it really sucks. At the same time, it is, uh, you know, that thing I got there is uh, amazing. So, a farmer left and a woodcutter left. All right. Oh boy, that's scary. But at least we're going to finish it before the next uh, season kicks in. So now for the first time I can replace people. Oh boy, we're, we're getting so decimated by that. We're getting so massively decimated here. Oh, 
Ouchies. So I really got to uh, look on up what's uh, left after we're uh, done with that. Oof. Also, the impatience of the queen is almost uh, on a lethal state, so... If they don't uh, bring back the uh, tablets there, I'm done for anyways. So... Alright, I think uh, I'm, uh, I lost this one. I'm pretty positive that I lost that one. Oh, I can push back the the queen's anger one more time, but uh, I gotta say the orders screwed me over to no end uh, as well. Like there are there were so little really um, desirable things. I mean, now in the end, it was my my own greed agreeable. So. Minus 37, okay. Ah, yeah, we're above hostility level uh, 5, I see. So, here we go. Well! Mine has no available ore, so we have to upgrade it. But I don't have the necessary materials for that either. Well, got a lot of workers there. I mean, this place here is churning out massive amounts of resources that are totally desirable. But at the same time, I I haven't drafted anything, or, well, I didn't pay attention to the jerky production at my last draft. Ah, oh, that was a mistake. But I was already too uh, hell-bent with the thought that I lost. I mean, I didn't see any bathhouse, I didn't see any forum. The uh, the uh, opportunities for the drafts were pretty pretty crappy there. Oh yeah, but I want to build a Forsaken Altar before this is uh, over. So... I mean, it ain't over before it's over, but... Uh, let's see, I mean, I got a huge amount of tools, so we might work with that. Go. So massive deforestation's happening here. Although I'm frankly surprised that we actually did survive this time. I mean, sure, I got stupid amounts of uh Um, of ore and the like, uh, of food here, so. I definitely want to pick that up for myself. Or I die, preferably. <laughs> Not sure if that's gonna come together, though. I'd say the the most nasty part about this run was that the uh, that I played so horribly around the orders here. I think that uh, broke me mostly because there were just too many orders that I wasn't able to fulfill on that run here. Sadly, but it's okay. I'll, uh, I'll win this next time, I'd say. Let's see, we'll get one more push back here. So. Ah, this only works during storm and only if we got the necessary reputation for that, I see. So. Well, let's give it another try, maybe. Maybe there's something good in the box there. Who knows?
Boy, oh boy, was that scary. But, I mean, if I'd be drafting now one other um, building that would increase my uh, my leisure or, or, or any service building, basically, at this point, would give me a chance of, uh, of getting back into this again. Basically, yeah. So one thing I played quite horribly around this run, where I really need to improve, was the mining infrastructure. I totally underestimated that mines require quite a big investment into, of tools to keep running, so to say. So, harvesting and plants are... alright, nice. Another minus 8 resolve. So. Termite nest. Right. Luckily, we got what we need tool-wise, but uh, this is again a uh, a big kick in the crotch here when it comes down to the resolve management. So, and I should have used more um, more specialized housing opportunities. That's another, another another thing where I feel like I could have done better. So, Queen's Impatience is ultimately killing me. There's not enough opportunity for me to give a uh, good pushback. Oh boy, this is a uh, hollowed small farm that can make crystallized do. Oh boy. Sheesh, that's amazing. So... That's sad. I would have loved to win this, but uh, I did too many mistakes with uh, with this one. And a bit of unluckiness uh, came on top of that too. But uh, well, I did what I could. We got a lot of materials out of that, so it's fine. So, the other dudes took the advantage of that, so I'm now definitely not going to win the, uh, the contest of the factions there. But it's okay, I mean, it's literally the first match that I uh, lost in this game, and I think I learned a lot out of that. And besides that, that's a wonderful thing about this game. You always gain something out of your defeats, so... Now, let's buy that blueprint for the Heartbeat House that's been... ...bothering me quite hard that I wasn't, uh... ...featuring that. So, the next hub upgrade thing I wanted to... ...more Embark points... ...and then I'm already spent. Alrighty, everybody. So, uh, that's going to be the end of this stream. I thank you all for watching. This was my... This was a pretty good time, so uh, leave me a comment down below, leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. There's daily content coming up from my side, and if you missed the stream, like I said at, at the beginning, check out Twitter, Patri uh, Patri Discord, and the uh, bell thing and the subscription thing for YouTube, and also there's Patreon, Paypal, and buy me a coffee as ways and means to support this channel. And I'd be super happy if you check them out. Have a wonderful day, you all, and see you next time. Bye-bye.